Welcome to Media Minute. For this episode, we're chewing the fat about the comic book, Chew. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And uh, yeah, we're back again after another couple couple of weeks. We're down to a couple of weeks gap now instead of yep. uh, we're like doing a, better. a month. So uh, yeah, we're Definitely doing slowly, better. slowly uh, closing the gaps, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, I mentioned Chew. And you, yeah. tr- you turned me on to Chew by just sliding yeah. it under my door uh, one day. Yeah, sometimes I owe Mike money. <laughs> <laughs> the money was inside. Uh, that's probably not in focus, but that's okay. Yeah. You can read it. Yeah. Chew. You know what? Let's just, let's just put can, it right can, up here. Can you? There you go. Prop, yeah, there you go. Oh, right. the camera can't catch it. Yeah. Anyways, keep, keep going, man. Yeah. Um, no, I, uh, it's great. It's, uh, from Image Comics. They do, uh, yeah. kind of more eclectic stuff than standard kind of superhero, uh, you know, Marvel DC yeah. type things. I, I think they're... Their catalog is a little bit broader. You know, they'll take chances on, like, independence and stuff like that. Well, it's all creator-owned. Yeah. yeah. Like, the creators take, res- I guess, responsibility for their own IP. stuff. Yeah. So yeah, just their in- intellectual property. Yeah. And, of course, that's the first volume of, uh, well, there's several volumes of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's and, at least and, 10. And there's, like, a spinoff, from what I could tell. Yeah, Chew's sister gets yeah. her own. I don't know why I keep showing this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're talking about. <laughs> Pay attention. Um, yeah, but, no, awesome comic. Yeah. Uh, it's about a dude who's a detective. Yep. And to solve, I don't know, I guess the murders, he uh, has to eat. His, his, his uh, superpower is that he has to eat a piece of the dead body to figure out what happened to them because he kind of receives their memories. Yeah. he. It's went, been a while since I've read it. When he eats something, he kind of gets an impression of, uh, you know, if he ate like a, a, a plant, he could he can tell what kind of furniture uh, yeah. fertilizer is used and he could tell, you know, if the, it got stepped on. So he, he gets impressions from whatever he eats and uh, sometimes uh, that includes people. People. <laughs> Yeah, as one does. Like in the in the first story, like to get like the names of uh, victims from a serial killer. Uh, yeah, he munches on uh, munches on a body of the serial killer after he gets. Uh, like he's a detective starting out, and then he gets uh, kind of assigned to a special uh, FDA uh, branch, and it, and he can only eat uh, radishes. Yeah, yeah, I think it's radishes. Uh, it's been a while since beets. I've I think read it's it. beets. Is it beets? I yeah, think okay. it's beets. Yeah. Yeah, so... Because uh, they have no memory. Yeah, <laughs> so apparently. But yeah, it's kind of a uh, like a super intriguing like concept. And uh, what I like about it, too, is that uh, Chew's kind of a... He's kind of a badass in terms of... Kind of, yeah. You know, he's... Uh, what typically happens with these, like, cops with, like, a superpower thing, like, there's the, yeah. the, there's the person with the power, and then they're assigned, like, a, a partner or whatever. But Chew can... He pretty much takes care of himself for the most part, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And he encounters villains with other food-related superpowers. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to spoil too much for you. No, I and I, I don't want to... I don't want to spoil anything really about it aside from the premise. It's like... It's so so neat. And the art... I love the art, too. Yep. Uh, apparently, yeah. Apparently... Rob Gilroy killing yeah, it. Apparently, this is like his first big break in terms of a... Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was reading... Uh, there's a little biography, uh, I think, in the... Or I might have saw it on their website, and Chew was like his first kind of big break in the comics. It's like a very distinctive art style. Well, he crushes it. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not standard superheroes. Look at that spread. Like, yeah. That spread right there. That was the first page I opened up to. I didn't <laughs> pick this one. I just that, ran that, a page. Yeah, that's him like... Uh, that's how he sees like the memories of whatever he's uh, eating. Hope this isn't focused. Yeah. But yeah. Chew. Yeah. Amazing book. Great story. And uh, yeah, no, I I found it uh, great. Definitely looking forward to uh, reading reading more of it for sure. I'm surprised it hasn't been like adapted into something. I I could be wrong, but I think they tried. Yeah. I think there's like yeah, we need to make this show and. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know whatever. I, I, I don't know. It might be just like enough off kilter that you know if you yeah. start to try to make to it and like you know production companies get involved and it's like, oh, he's got a he's got to have that that partner that does everything for him type yeah. thing, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, but I'm pretty sure they tried to get this into like a try it again. Yeah. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they tried to like make this a TV show. Yeah. It's it's got a it almost feels um it gives me like a tick type vibe. You, you know, cuz Yeah. Okay. Cuz it's kind of, you know, a little little wacky in terms yeah. of and not like over the top like the tick, but like the premise is a, a little wacky, but the rest of the world is kind of normal and reacting to yeah you know these these kind of wacky characters i guess yeah the fact that he can eat like someone's ear yeah and like learn about their past and there's they, like they just kind of like yeah just like, yeah. and there's a there's a that woman that uh she can describe food so well that like you can oh, actually yeah. <laughs> taste it and that uh that be, ends up being used in like an interesting interesting way yeah yeah um but yeah, definitely check that out if you're looking for something outside the mainstream. Yeah, if you like the tick, you definitely like this. I would think. Yeah, I think so. Like I said, it gives me the tick vibes, which is good. I think it's probably better than the tick. Prob- I haven't actually read the uh, tick comics. Like my introduction to the tick was that '90s uh, cartoon. Yeah, with the uh, the dude from Seinfeld, uh, Rob yeah. something. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, but they I'll- did. Um, they did do like a couple live action series as well. Yeah, Tick. and they brought it back. Yeah. So, uh, Chew, check it out better than Tick. Sure. If that's the selling point, I don't know. I don't know, but it's good. Yeah. And there's lots more to discover. I bet. I bet. All those villains with different food related superpowers. Yeah, it's it's very Great. very like niche and specific. I, I, yeah, that's, that's yeah, definitely. What I like about it, it's, it's like it's, it's contained in its own kind of set of like wacky rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're they're mutants. Yeah, but not as glamorous. No, it's like D list uh, like X Men type thing. Yeah, it's like you, you're like you got like a superpower, but it sucks. Yeah, it's like yeah, okay. <laughs> I kind of have one of those. I can make any baby. Stop crying just by looking at it. Oh, yeah? I can, I can make any baby start to cry. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that you? <laughs> That's been you the whole time? Oh, man, dude. dude you're my arch nemesis. <clears throat> you're yeah. Anti, we're just anti-baby crying, man. Well, stop making babies cry so I have to... So I don't have to keep stopping them from crying. Yeah. Um, this son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I've been... Uh, Why are you making babies cry? <laughs> All right, I'll not on purpose. Uh, have you been anything else uh, you've been checking out? Uh, yeah, actually. Yep. I watched Warcraft last night. The the movie? Yeah, like the World of Warcraft movie. Yeah, I, that one was done by David Bowie's son. Yeah, I might have to correct that, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure it was. Um, I can't remember honestly. I can't remember anything about it. Like I, I saw it shortly yeah. after it came out, and I could not tell you the plot. I could not tell you who was in it. Uh, I have no idea who was in it. Yeah, yeah. I and it. Yeah, I don't know what to make of it. I, I, I think it assumes that you know, like the World of Warcraft lore. Yeah. Before going in, like I, I could never really get into World of Warcraft. Like I played Warcraft two. Okay. Yeah, never expansions. played any of them. Yeah. Um, but like, I, uh, like I said, I could never get into the the online game for whatever reason. It just didn't uh, just didn't click with me, which is good because a lot of people got addicted to it and ruined their lives. <laughs> yeah, like no joke. Yeah, like a friend of a friend's parents were addicted to it, and uh, she had a birthday. This is in uh, where is this? Uh, Look home, Alberta. Yeah, and it was a mom and dad, and they had like dedicated like their own dedicated computers and they were playing World of Warcraft together. Yep. But on separate computers. But their house was just like a disaster. Yeah, because they weren't keep it they were just uh, Yeah, there's like pizza boxes everywhere. The bathroom was unusable. Like I, I wish I had pictures of it. Yeah. But it was bad. There are stories like of people getting addicted to like those online games. Like uh, I remember one where uh this couple had a kid and they neglected the kid and I think the kid actually died from like 
I dehydration or whatever. Yeah, like it has wasn't there like stories about like people in Korea like just going hard at the internet cafe? Yeah, and dying just because they're like up so long. Yeah, yeah, or not eating or like I'm not sure of the details, but like, that's that's kind of scary. Yeah, and, and of course now uh, Zuckerberg wants us to join the metaverse. Yeah, yeah, and uh, with no legs. <laughs> <laughs> And some barbecue sauce. It's, yeah. Sweet baby rays. <laughs> Why? Nobody knows. Who doesn't love some sweet baby rays? <laughs> Apparently it's good. I've never had it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I could never get into like those those like super like online games. So it's more of a single like, player. Yeah, game. like the MMOs. Yeah. So, I don't know. Um I, I did play like MUDs back in the day, which were like the text version of those. And I, I think I burnt myself out on playing those that when the graphic versions came along. <laughs> I was like, I've already done this in text, but. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, they're still. I, I mean. Although the last, the last of Us, did you ever play that? Uh, the last of Us Online was sweet. Yeah. I played the crap out of that. Yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't played that actually. Um, what I have been playing though is I've gone back to the old Bioshock games. Nice. Yeah, they're fun. Um, Are they? Do they stand up? Or is I'd, I'd say sto- kind of story thing? wise, they stand up. Um, yeah. The actual, the actual gunplay and stuff is, I, I'd say it's middling. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the the story, uh, yeah, like I, I've I played through one. I'm about halfway through two right now. Uh, where you get to play the big daddy. I, f- I, oh, yeah. I, I finished uh, like one and two back in the day. I could never get into Infinite, which was like the third one. Yeah, I played like halfway through that. Yeah. And that was about it. And I just kind of fell off. Yeah. It's interesting to go back to and, um, you know, in terms of the story, there's like a ton of people who've done like breakdowns on YouTube and stuff, how like everything connects together because the events of the third game, like, tie directly back to the first game like everything in the first game happens because of what happens in the third game hmm. so it's uh yeah no it's it's pretty interesting that way yeah yeah i don't know fpvs man i don't know it's not my thing yeah um also still doing audiobooks uh my latest uh acquisition oh, has been a uh book by john scalzi and it's called the uh, kaiju preservation society do you know what a kaiju is? No. Kaiju is Godzilla. Oh, okay. Yeah, or, or <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Chris had an incident yeah, uh, lifting was... a chair. I always hurt myself doing <laughs> something stupid. <laughs> At like, least it's not your foot this time. Like, I do a ton of dangerous and stupid sh- stuff. Stuff, yep. And I always walk away fine. <laughs> but I, I do some chores. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm all banged up and... Bruised and twisted. It's called and getting older. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. I'd be safer on a mountaintop <laughs> than I would in my basement. Climbing Everest. Might as well. Yeah. Oh boy. Sorry, uh, the derailed the tangent. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow. Oh uh, yeah, we're talking about video games. Yeah. Well. Um. Well, audiobook in this. Oh case. yeah. Sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, kaiju is basically any large Japanese monster. Uh, you know, Godzilla. Oh, is there, uh, any, is there any other kind? Yeah. <laughs> Um, the you know the the monsters from uh, Pacific Rim. There, they're, they're never saw that kaiju. You haven't seen Paci- first one. First, G- first Guillermo del Toro, not a fan. Uh, he he's very on, on and off in terms of quality. I think Grinding Nemo. <laughs> it's been a minute. Come on, I had to. Yeah, um, Pacific Rim is kind of a fun like popcorn movie though. It's like a, you know a giant mech uses a boat as a pair of nunchucks against a. Giant, <laughs> giant monster. So that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Second one wasn't uh, wasn't as good. Uh, but anyway, in this book, yeah, yeah. Uh, what happens is um, when humans start doing like nuclear testing, it like rips a hole in the fabric of reality, go- which connects to like a world where these kaiju exist. Okay. And uh, basically, there's this uh, you know government funded group that goes to this parallel world and you know, tries to keep the kaiju on their side of of, of things so they don't uh, – like, like in the story, Godzilla is, is like a real thing. Like it's based on like an incident that happened in the 50s and then like <laughs> they, made, huh. they made a movie about it. 
but uh, yeah, no, it's a it's a fun book. Uh, John Scalzi is uh, one of the science fiction authors I've enjoyed over the past few years. He's, he's got uh, his first like major series was uh, Old Man War, which spent space battles in space. Nice, but it's with elderly people, <laughs> like like Cocoon meets well, Star Wars. Kind of. Uh, what happens is. Uh, when he hit the age of like 70 or 80 in this story, uh, you, you basically sign yourself off as dead to like society. And then okay. they take you into space and like give you a new body. And then you, you fight aliens and stuff because old people are disposable. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> it, it's, it's an interesting concept. I mean, yeah, if, like, if I make it to 80. Yeah. And like aliens, warfare breaks out. Yeah, like I said, they give you like a I'd new a new young body, and yeah. you have to do like ten years or something like that. But it's like super dangerous. Like they're constantly getting chewed up and killed and stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If I have nothing else going on, yeah. When I'm eighty, yeah, I'd probably sign up for that. Yeah. So yeah, let's go. Probably let's go die and. Glory, or yeah, might not be glory. <laughs> Wars are weird. Yeah, he also wrote a uh, a book called Red Shirts, which is uh, you know Red Shirts in Star Trek, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, is that okay? Uh, okay. So yeah, 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 I'm with you. I'm yeah with you. so like uh, what happens in in that story is uh, there there's like a guy and he's like a he's red shirt, but damn Mansons. Yeah, level up. <laughs> But it turns out like he's uh, he lives in like a universe that somebody is writing. Okay. So, so like uh, they'll be doing something and then kind of the story will take over and then people will start doing like nonsensical things and get killed off. So then it's like a quest to like meet the, <laughs> the writer of the story. So it's like <laughs> stop, stop killing us off in the stories. OK. Yeah. It's kind of meta. Getting like yeah, I'm doing it. Cisco vibes when he's in that room writing on the walls. Yeah, uh, well, he did that, that one where he's the, yeah that 1950s uh, science fiction author. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of a segue. Close enough. Yeah. Well, uh, Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton does uh, for John Scalzi's books. He usually does the uh, voiceover for the audio. Oh, does he? Yeah. There we go. But I I just he he can't say Newfoundland correctly though because how, he, how does he say it? Newfoundland. Newfoundland? Yeah. That, oh, that was hard to say. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, the, the uh, kaiju story in the alternate Earth, uh, like the, the kaiju are like off the coast of, of Newfoundland. <laughs> what is it though? Like, what's, like, is it, it should be like a, like a cod or a lobster at least. Yeah. You know, stay a uh, shop local. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, I also watched uh, Moonfall on Amazon. Oh, Prime. did you? How was that? Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's Independence Day meets Armageddon, which makes sense because that good. yeah, Roland Emmerich uh, directed it and uh, he wrote Independence Day, and okay. he he writes a lot of. If you look at, at his IMDb, uh, his credits are like Independence Day, The Day After Tomorrow, <laughs> Twenty Twelve. So yeah, you, there's, there's a pattern. The, there's a pattern there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it was all right. Yeah. It's like two hours. I threw it on the backgrounds. One of those kind of a background movie where you know I, know. I think I think background movies should have like a time limit, like two hours. No. Yeah. Hour and a half. That's a, that's a background. They, they could have definitely cut some stuff for sure. There, there's some parts that drag Just drag out. Didn't need to. Yeah, I think. Like Warcraft, I was watching. I was like, "Yeah, this does not need to be this long." I did actually kind of warm up to it eventually. So it, so. it was World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It wasn't great, but I did warm up to it eventually, despite all my groaning and uh, yeah. shifting my posture. I'm gonna have to rewatch it because I can't. Like I said, I great. remember nothing about it. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, forgettable. But yeah, it, it sucked me in. Yeah, I, I'm, this is not a recommendation or an endorsement of yeah. 
Warcraft. Yeah. It was not a good movie, but... You you finished watching it, at least. You didn't turn it off in anger? No, I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> not because it was boring. It was, it was only because I put it on so late at night. Yeah. Yeah. That happened to me with Master yeah. and Commander. What was that one? That's the one where it's... Um, is it Russell Crowe? He's like a ship captain. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hey. Went, Top Gun's finally coming out. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Top Gun is coming out. That's right. They... Um, Trailer's out. Yep. It's after two years. I think it was finished like back in 2019, and they've just been waiting for theaters to open up. Yeah. Having, yeah. having seen the trailer, I could see why they would want a theater. Yeah. Theatrical release. I, I have to say it. I'm really disappointed it's not called Danger Zone. That's I know, all, that's I know, all I'm man. saying. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry about that. Um, not that I had anything to do with it. You, you know what? It gives me an Iron Eagle vibe. Remember Iron Eagle? Oh, yeah. Uh, Lou, Lou, Lucas Jr.? Yeah. And uh, crap, who else? There was another one. Um, yeah, I can't remember. Either way. Lucas Gus Jr. Yep. Yeah. Who was... Bald the, dude. Yeah, he was the, the uh, enemy in Enemy Mine. He was the alien. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was. <laughs> that was a good movie, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Um... Yeah. yeah, sorry, I took us totally off trajectory there. <laughs> We're off trajectory with Top Gun. Uh, yeah, it seems to be it's like you're the only person, uh, you know, it's the old pilot coming back and he's got to train the newbies because, yeah. like, his character Maverick is he's like the only person that shot down anybody, like, within the past 40 years. Yeah, like... Okay, I, I haven't seen the movie. No. <laughs> Obviously. Cause, what, is it, what did it come out, like May? Uh, yeah, the Wait, end of May. Should it be out? I think. We're in April. May's after April. My calendar is... I'm throwing <laughs> that in the garbage. <laughs> that thing is wrong. Lousy smart weather. Stupid smart. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely watch it. There better be like a Kenny Loggins song in there somewhere. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. I'd even go like Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Singing about chicken. Fried chicken. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention about Chew. That's like a major plot point. Chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, El Pollo uh, Loco. Yeah. The yeah. crazy chicken. Yeah. There, uh, it takes place in a universe where there's like this major bird flu. So chicken is completely banned. So there's a black market chicken. Empire. Oh, crap. I think I might have just delivered you a spoiler by accident. <laughs> well, I might as well I might as well spill the beans now. Yeah. There is a crazy-ass chicken Yeah. who just kicks ass. <laughs> I don't know if I can... Yeah. Ass is fine, I'm sure. Sure. Yeah. YouTube will let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, El Pollo Loco. Look out for him. All right. Yeah. No, I haven't seen the El Pollo Loco yet, but uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a weird thing because like there there was like a pandemic yeah. in that world and I will never give up chicken. No. Chicken wings? Come on, man. They're here to stay. I'm We're, sorry. You know what? I I miss when like chicken wings were like 25 cents. You could go to a bar and like chicken wings were like 25 cents a wing. Uh, they're still out there. They're still out there. Yeah. There was a place in uh, Calgary when I was living in Calgary. Oh yeah. man, they had cheap wing night Tuesdays and Thursdays. Ooh. 50 flavors. Available. Nice. Yeah, I was there every Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> I love me some good wings. Honey garlic, mostly. Shadow tops. Yep. Yep. Oh, Parmesan and uh, hot sauce? Frank's and Parmesan? See, see that's where, where you lost me. With oh, the, yeah. Uh, you don't, oh, I, that's I, right. I can't handle it. I have the, uh, oh, missing out, dude. the taste of a like an eight-year-old girl. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, I can't think of any that doesn't have spicy in the name. <laughs> But they do have honey garlic. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah I, I, I can always do honey garlic. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, uh, you know, like salt and pepper. Salt Some. and pepper's not bad? Yeah. I mean, any chicken wing's not bad. No. Dill? I'll go dill. Dill? Yeah. I'll do dill. And, we're and on, now we're on... We're back on food. <laughs> which was kind of inevitable talking about Yeah. That. We got... Yeah. We, yeah. we knew this was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't prepared, but we expected it. That's that's how that goes. Oh man. Anything else? Um 
Might be a short one this week. Yeah, this might be a this might be a quickie. Yep. Which is good for you for editing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have to. I'm going to need a lot of chicken wing pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Um. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Do you want to just drag this out? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just talk about everything that everyone's already talking about. Yeah. So Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. Jeez, oh, yeah. Uh, I, I can't believe, like, that the discourse on that is, like, still going. Yeah, that's yeah. been going on for, like, a week. Sonic 2 might be Jim Carrey's last movie. He's talking about really? retiring. Yeah. Huh. I mean, Jim Carrey can, you know, he's, he's made enough in his career that he can just do whatever he wants. Oh, yeah, he's not. He's not yeah. starving. Yeah. That would be a pretty good, uh, uh like, sayonara. It was, like... Yeah, well, Sonic I, I mean, the, the Sonic movies are pretty popular, so. I enjoyed the first one. Yep. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. I'm amazed in how, like, popular, like, how, like, I had a Game Gear, so I had, like, Sonic 1 nice. and 2 on Game Gear, and uh, there was a Sonic cartoon back in the 90s that I used to watch. But, like, f- for me, as, like, an older person, it's like, I, I can't believe, like, Sonic's still, still going. But there's like a yeah. twenty year gap there where like Sonic like maintained his popularity even though like Sega kind of went bust and like he's on Nintendo systems now. Yeah, Sonic persevered. Yeah, he he made it. Yeah, good for him. I never liked the Sonic games, and I had a Genesis. Yeah, like I played the crap out of them, but I don't know. What about Street to Rage? You play oh that? yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I bought Streets of Rage 2 on Steam recently. Streets of, Ra- Streets of Rage versus, uh, what was it? Oh, Fatal Fan. Final Fight. Final Fight. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. I like both. Yeah, they're both so good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, Streets of Rage at least had multiple. Uh, you could have more than one player because the Final Fight on Super Nintendo uh, was only a single player. Really? Yeah. You could either play Hagar or Cody in the first one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cody Sartre. <laughs> well, I mean, you could do pile drives and stuff with Hager. Yeah, like that, he, that's what he you want to do. used to walk do. around like this, right? Yeah, he's coming to get you. Yeah. He's like, this is Angie. F- yeah, the, 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 of well, yeah, the streets. He was, uh, well, his storyline was he was a uh, ex-wrestler turned mayor. And can only fit into, like, overalls. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Great um, character. Yeah. Oh, street, street to Rage was always... Fantastic. Yeah, we're just kind of talking about anything. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. Should we wrap it up? How, we, how are we doing for time? Uh, we're coming up on the 30 minute mark now. Okay. Yeah. Below it? Uh, we are right now, unless I talk really more. <laughs> no, more. I won't do that. <laughs> we just count. Yeah. Just write it out for the next like, eight <laughs> minutes. And now here's no. Uh, yeah, recommend true. Um, yeah, chew, check it out. Yeah, if you can. Uh, I also oh, recommend. Try again. There we go. The Kaiju Preservation Society. I've I've been enjoying it. Check that out too. Yeah. Um, Moonfall. Mm, me, me. Middling. Middling. It, I mean, if you're a fan of Independence Day 2012 and the day after tomorrow, which uh, I am. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. You know, like I, did, I did like uh, Independence Day. Yeah. And Armageddon. Did you see the second Independence Day? No, I never did. You're, you're, uh, it's kind of weak. Should I just stay away? Yeah. And just like kind of. I, I don't. I don't think anybody really liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think he also wrote Stargate, Emmerich. Oh really? Yeah, like the original movie. Stargate was sweet. So, yeah. The show was great too. Uh, shows, because they had Stargate. So funny. Uh, they had Atlantis, and then they had um, they had one where they were on a spaceship that only lasted for like a season. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know about that. Uh, what was the name of it? Stargate, Stargate Atlantis. Um, can't remember. Yeah. Anyway, I, I'm going to wrap things up. Yeah, that's probably we're, good. We're just kind of babbling yeah, at this point. No one cares about. No, no. one's watching this. <laughs> but thanks to our seven uh, BitChute subscribers. Yes, thank you. We love you. We yeah. appreciate you. And we consider you. Recommend us to your friend. Yeah, because <laughs> this is all we got. <laughs> all right. For Media Minute, I'm Michael Forward. 
I'm Chris Radzikowski. We're we'll on see- BitChute and Odyssey and YouTube yeah. when they're not bouncing us. Yeah. And then I'll throw it back to you, I guess. All right. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. All the best.